Hello, my name is Tong and this is my presentation about hardware. In this presentation, I will show you an appropriate hardware configuration to meet the need of video editor. And the second is the kind of computer BIT student in studying on Laplet OS. The first components I want to introduce with you is the Intel Core i7. 5775C 3.3 GHz. It's not only the really strong processors, but it is also included integrated Iris Pro graphics. It is the first processor with Intel's most advanced on graphics engine. And its price is $402. And the second component I want to introduce is the motherboard which I choose is Asus H97 Plus. This motherboard supports up to three display and has a perfect 4K full HD visual effect. It's an accessory stuff for editing because visual effect play an important role in a video. And its price is $70. And the third important component is RAM which I choose is Crucial 16GB Kit DDR4 um, This is a really strong RAM uh, It's processing speed and capacity double as well as increased energy efficiency And its price is $70 too And the next is secondary storage As far as you know a video editors need a huge capacity of storage to store their video they have edited. So I think this secondary storage is enough to maintain heavy videos for later uses. And its price is $32.4. As you can see, the graphic card is a really important component in all computers. And the one I choose for a video editor is NVIDIA G4 GTX 9 AO uh, is a really powerful graphics card. It also includes impressive voxel global illumination technology and dynamic dynamic super resolutions, which make your PC is fantastic than more than ever. And its price is $32.4. Sound card is really important to create high sound quality for a better movie sound and the one I choose is XOXKS108 and its price is around $40 Another important component for a video editor is monitor This fabulous monitor is LG34UC98 It has a 34 inch and curved screen with a perfect sharpness it will bring you the professional experience in every sense you're working. And its price is around $945. Keyboard is also really important. Uh, the keyboard I choose is Sony Vegas Pro 13. It has soft touch, keystroke, and a keyboard custom commands for editing videos. It's really helpful for beginner editors. And its price is $100. The mouse I choose for a video editor is an Apple Magic Mouse 2. It has a mechanical micro switches and key plate designed for better click feeling and performance. And the final peripherals for this PC is the speaker. I choose Razer Leviathan. A good sound card requires a good speaker. This speaker has a bass heavy sound and plenty of inputs with an affordable price. Its price is around $170. And here are alternative components for all of the components above. Intel Core i7-5930K processor. Motherboard Asus H97 Pro. RAM Crucial 16GB Kit DDR3 L Secondary Storage Western Digital Blue 320GB 
graphic card NVIDIA GeForce GTX 950 sound card XOX ES 102 monitor LG 24MP ADA HV keyboard Apple Final Cut Pro X mouse is the Logitech G502 speaker Logitech Z533 computer speaker here are the second parts of the presentations. Kind of a computer PIT student need in studying on Lapin AMK. The first component is processors. I choose Intel Core i7, 7th generation. The 7th generation is the latest version of the Intel Core. It will bring you an incredible speed and performance graphics to your PC. And its price is uh, 300 $35. And the second component is the motherboard. I choose Asus B85MG. This motherboard supports up to 4 DDR3 memory slots with a total capacity of 32GB. It's also equipped with features that help protect important hardware components from electric short shocks or any problems that may occur during the operations. And its price is $73. For RAM, I choose Crucio 8GB single DDR4. Its processing speed and capacity double as well as increased energy efficiency. And its price is $85. Next is secondary storage. Mm, I choose Kingston USB 3.0 16GB because it's enough to maintain accessory document and files for later uses. I choose G4 GTX 950 for the graphic cards because it is based on the Maxwell microprocessors architecture with the advantage of power savings but still ensure the performance. Its price is $189. For peripherals like monitor, keyboard, and mouse, I choose Acer S220HQL, Velveteen Slimline, Logitech B100 800 DPI. Because as a BIT student, we don't need to have a professional monitor, keyboard, or mouse. We just need things that enough to do normal tasks, and its price is $94. $5.4 and $8 for each of them respectively. And the last peripheral, but I think it's necessary for BIT student is a headphone. Um, what is I choose is Sony MDR ZX110 APZX. Uh, a BIT student will learn and communicate on internet a lot, so a good headphone with mic would bring a better sound experience. And here are alternative components for all components above. Processors, Intel Core i7 5775C. Motherboard, Asus H97 Plus. RAM, Crosshair, Vechenens 8GB DDR3. Secondary storage, Kingston USB 3.0 8GB. Graphic card XFX AMD Radeon HD6770 Keyboard and mouse and monitor Asus G226HQL iHome IHK301 Classics and Habit MS672-3200 DB The last one is the headphone Sony MDR ZX310 AP RZX. Thank you for your kindly attention. This is the end of my presentations.